Welcome back to the Idea Machine. You're watching the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Kaboom, Kaboom, and Super Kaboomo, oh yeah. Kaboomo, oh yeah, Kaboomo, oh yeah. Here we go, here we go. Underground tundra in the volcanic island. These are the islands of the Philippines. These are the islands of the Philippines. This is Taal, this is Sorsogon, and this is Benguet. Oh yeah, so cold. Offended you again, so I guess this is the end. Because everybody knows you're such a snowflake and you're just quite upset at every single thing we said. Everybody knows it's all just in your head. Wasted feeling the wind speaking. You know I have crossed the line when I said that you were mine. Go and skiing, no hard feelings. Since you will not be my girl, this is the end of my own. Welcome back. Well, well, welcome back, guys, to another episode of AD Machine. Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy. And now we look forward to one of the newest and greatest sets ever to come forth. Forever. The dual lands. Right here. So. Right now, what are we looking at? Um, there was a movie which came out a couple of, uh, yeah, maybe the last year, known as Uncharted. Uncharted, okay, of course, had Nathan Drake, it had Sully, it had Chloe Fraser, um, it had Nadine and that Victor Cross guy, or Crow, I forgot the villain's name. Okay, but basically it was a movie about treasure hunting, it was about jumping off a plane I mean parkour stunts I mean it had everything the movie got banned in the Philippines because the treasure map that Nathan Drake had had a nine dash line for some reason they believe a nine dash line is what China is using to claim the South China Sea now known as the West Philippine Sea and uh, stake their claim on our territory now Okay, fine. Yes, it's fair. But this is a fantasy movie. It's not even real. It's a fantasy map in a fantasy movie from a PlayStation game in a world which is parallel to us, a different dimension, and the MTRCB just has the right to just wants to stop it? Stop filming it? I mean, that porno movie Monka Noor slipped right through their noses. There were multiple screenings of Monk Hanor and you couldn't even, you didn't even exert any effort in stopping it, but you exerted effort in stopping Uncharted? Man, that's actually uh, pretty messed up. Now, at least HBO, with a controversial episode of The Last of Us, the one with the uh, Bill and Frank love scene, they censored that. They edited that out of the TV of the cable version of HBO okay so kids didn't get to see that when they watched it on cable TV or satellite TV which is where I normally watch my stuff because our internet is slow because Converge is a garbage internet provider and I only watch uh, streaming stuff when it's fast which is like once in a blue moon because I also need the uh, internet for work but still um, banning it in the and stopping it from uh, viewing in AXN when they, when every other country is going to be viewing it. I mean, man, it's not actually spreading misinformation. Uh, if it was going to be banned in other countries as well, then that would be fine. But if you're just banning it in the Philippines, you're just denying people from watching a really good movie. I watched the movie and it was actually good. It had the exact same scenes from the game. It had Sam, it had Nate, it had everything. Now, um, don't get me wrong, okay? Um, I'm pissed off at Neil Druckmann for what he did to The Last of Us, but I love the games of Naughty Dog. I love Uncharted. I love the first Last of Us. I hate the series because the series is garbage. It was directed by some Chernobyl guy or something. Something whore. A guy named as whore. I mean, don't even uh, know about that. But uh, basically... Um, Uncharted was really well made if they stick to that 
Okay, they stick to action and just get rid of the woke politics that um, the uh, media or the elites are trying to push, man. The Last of Us wouldn't even have to change its schedule. It won't have to change its schedule and worry about the Super Bowl on Sunday. I mean, it can comfortably just come out at any time and even beat the Super Bowl if they made it really well, if they made it loyal to the game. But, but right now, what's happening is all the gamers, the hardcore gamers are super pissed at Neil Druckmann. And, um, well, we've seen 2.4 cancellation, million cancellations in Disney+. Plus. There might be 2.4 million cancellations in HBO Max and HBO Go. Who knows? <laughs> so don't push your luck, guys. But anyway, once again, this is the ID Machine with the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy signing off. Rah!